Welcome to Defender's Voice. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Please send me your questions to info at drpaul.org. Visit our website www.drpaul.org to subscribe to our podcast and to support this ministry. Today's question is, I have been suffering from high blood pressure. I tried relaxation, dietary changes, exercises, but still it is not coming down. What medications should I consider to lower my blood pressure? So that's an excellent question. Sorry to hear about your high blood pressure and your struggles to cut down your blood pressure. First of all, let us see the definition of high blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is less than 120 by 80. Okay, those numbers are important. If systolic blood pressure is between 120 to 129 and diastolic pressure less than 80, then we say your blood pressure is elevated. Then comes stage 1 hypertension. If your blood pressure is 130 to 139 or 80 to 89, then we say you have stage 1 hypertension. Then comes stage 2 hypertension if your blood pressure is more than systolic 140 or more than diastolic 90, we say you have stage 2 hypertension. Most people with high blood pressure do not have any symptoms. Okay, Sometimes people say, hey, I'm just fine. I'm just fine. I don't have any uh, symptoms, so I'm fine. I don't need any medications. That is not right because untreated high blood pressure can have serious consequences like damaging your vision, damaging your kidney, damaging your heart. It can damage every organ in your body. It can cause heart failure, strokes, diabetes, memory problems, headaches, dementia. It is important you check your blood pressure at least once every six months and take necessary precautions. If I diagnose someone with uh, high blood pressure, I usually do some laboratory workup. But remember, in 95% of cases, we do not know what is the cause for their high blood pressure. That's why we call it essential hypertension. Essential hypertension because we do not know the exact cause. Sometimes we can know the cause. Kidney problems can cause high blood pressure. Sometimes arteries get blocked. Hormonal problems like thyroid diseases can produce high blood pressure. So what lab tests you need depend on the clinical picture. But I usually do some basic labs such as complete blood counts, complete metabolic profile, thyroid hormone, because labs give a lot of information about your body. Coming to treatment, you can start with some changes to your lifestyle, reduce weight, bring your BMI to less than 25, cut down salt in your food, do some exercise every day, cut down on alcohol consumption, cut down on smoking, cut down on fatty products, cut down on meat, increase vegetables, increase fruits in your daily food intake. Then coming to medications, I usually start medications when blood pressure is more than 140 by 90. But if you have any risk factors like heart problems, diabetes or stroke, I usually start when your blood pressure is more than 130 by 80. Coming to medications, there are many classes of drugs we can use to treat high blood pressure. They are called diuretics, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blockers, and calcium channel blockers. There are many drugs in each class. For example, in diuretics, we have hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide, amyloride, spironolactone, etc. In beta blockers, we have propranolol, metoprolol, atenolol, etc. In ACE inhibitors, we have lisinopril, captopril, ramipril, etc. 
In angiotensin II receptor blockers, we have valsartan, losartan, etc. In calcium channel blockers, we have nifedipin, varapamil, diltiazem, etc. The list is long and it could be scary, but don't worry about it. Most people need only one or two pills to control their high blood pressure. I usually start with a diuretic like hydrochlorothiazide, especially in the elderly and African-American patients. These medications are very cost effective. If you go to Walmart, they will give you like a 90 day supply for four or five dollars. In patients with heart attacks, beta blockers are a good choice because they reduce the stress on heart. In patients with uh, diabetes and kidney disease, SE inhibitors are a good choice. In patients with blood vessel disease, calcium channel blockers are a good start. So you say, we look at your clinical picture and decide which class is right class for you. So there are many drugs available for the treatment of high blood pressure. You can effectively control your blood pressure with one uh, with very few side effects to these medications. These medications act in different ways. Some like diuretics, they take away the fluid from the body. Some like uh, uh, beta blockers, they reduce that stress on our organs. Also, these uh, receptor blockers, they block the receptors. And some work by reducing hormonal action on your body. So no matter how they work, they, they do a good job. So, so those are general guidelines. Everyone is different. If you want to know what is best for you, see your doctor or stop by my office. And we can plan the best approach to treat your high blood pressure. Okay, folks, that's uh, about high blood pressure medications. If you have any comments, please post your comments. Subscribe to our channel and uh, like this video and also share it. Thank you. God bless you.